Hey everyone, welcome back to another one of my videos. So today I wanted to talk about something that's recently happened in our community. At first it was just annoying, but it ended up causing a whole earful of drama. So get comfortable and I'll tell you all about the recent tea in the community. So I woke up just like a regular day and I got spammed with tags and DMs, which of course I'm used to, but it's way more than usual. I saw that someone had taken my digital art, the one that I'm drawing in this video right now, and claimed it as their own. They tagged Animal Jam and used the hashtag AJ Battle of the Bands in high hopes that they'd win the contest for the new DJ headset being given. At first, this person was called Rocky AJ Play Wild, and they were spamming multiple different entries of other people's work, basically claiming them as their own, and Animal Jam was liking almost all of their posts, even though they weren't even theirs to begin with. A lot of people got super mad at them for doing this, leading them to delete their account. I thought that they deleted it and learned their lesson, but I was wrong. They eventually made a new account called Clarity Moon Fox and repeatedly did the exact same as before. They posted a ton of different spam posts of people's work that wasn't even theirs. I was keeping everyone updated with the shenanigans on my Instagram story. After some time passed, AJHQ made a post of the winners of the Battle of the Bands event. And no joke, Clarity Moon Fox's post was there with a tag name down below. Just so everyone knows, I found out that AJHQ uses bots to choose the winners, which makes total sense. It means that it can give everyone a fair chance to win. But unfortunately, that led to Clarity Moon Fox winning. A ton of people got super mad in the comment section, saying that she stole the post and that she shouldn't get the prize, and I was shocked when I saw what happened next. AJHQ actually deleted the post of their winning. You see, AJHQ doesn't really take our thoughts and outputs into consideration whenever we give them recommendations about the game. So when I saw that they did delete the post to make another without Clarity Moonfox in it, I was pretty darn surprised. Honestly, I'm glad that she didn't end up winning the prize because she was basically violating a copyright law by saying other people's artwork and posts were hers and reposting them. I don't know what her username on Animal Jam is, actually no one does because she hit it so well. But either way, I did want to talk about this because it caused a lot of drama and I am fully aware that many of you love these dramatic tea spilling videos when it comes to Animal Jam. So either way, I hope that Clarity Moon learns a lesson one day about what she has done. Even Animal Jam recognized what she did and took an initiative by making things right, which is a very good thing. For the last chunk of this video, I'd like to talk about what they did and why it was such a problem. You see, many artists like me spend a lot of hard work and creativity trying to draw and make our work the best it can be. So when someone just blatantly copies, traces, or claims it as their own, it can make us really upset. If you ever want to stand out in Animal Jam or in this world, you have to be creative and original and produce things that are special and unique. You will never get anywhere by tracing or copying other people's work. And honestly, I think that I need to make a video on this topic a bit more. So I hope that clears some stuff up about why it's wrong to do what Clarity Moon did and why she shouldn't go unnoticed. I'm not telling anyone to go hate on her, I mean I'm just explaining why she did was so wrong and why she needs to learn a lesson. She has said to me that she enjoys doing what she does and I hate hearing that since I want everyone to be creative and stand out in their own great way. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time.